Glasgow gives the hand pass to Ashman. Ashman, another short pass. Well, hand pass over the top from Rode. Rode to Johnston. Must be a free kick upfield, surely. Yes, it's going to be. Meldrum will take it, or will he not? Leave it for Reese jones who took the mark. David Reese jones will take it. Oh, dear, there's some spite in this game in the opening minutes. So, Reese, 20 metres out. He'll have no trouble posting this. He doesn't. First major on the board to the Blues. Carlton, a one straight goal. The Cats have one behind on Seven's Big League in a fiery opening at Prince's Park. Down, didn't come out. Robertson, Ashman, the dominator to half forward. And the mark, oh! Red Baines has taken it. There'll definitely be a 15 metre. Why they don't think about playing football, Robert, and forgetting about it? I mean, what is the problem? Well, that one was just sheer foolishness because it wasn't even as though he, he made it hard for the player because uh, he hardly touched Baines anyway. Mm. And so why give away a 15-metre penalty? Plus a goal. Two on the board to the Blues. Line Bruns is waiting down. It's tap forward. Alvin and Ablett. Alvin in front. An exciting player is Tommy as he goes to the half-back line. Look at them. The ball is brought back into play. Reed, Madden, play on is the call. No, it'll go back to Madden. Short to Ashman. While he can play, he feels he wants to play. Sandy, fair comment. But there's the crowd giving the answer, holding the ball, the decision. Hartney from centre wing to go up towards the half forward line. Bruce has tried to play on again and uh, he's getting caught for speed. Nevertheless, it may come off. No, it won't because Flanagan can't affect the tackle. The handball comes out once again. Up towards the half forward line. Oh, he's taken it! <laughs> he jagged it! Mark McClure. <laughs> he surprised himself. But he's got it at centre half forward. And I think this breeze is considerably more than two goals, Bobby. It's pretty blustery. They're kicking long. No doubt David Parkin has instructed them to do so. And you can see by that drop punt from Mark McClure, which sails straight through the middle. That's what they're doing. 3-1. Plays two behinds on seven. Zeichler continues to run on down. Shepherds out Ashman, which is good play. But unfortunately, the kick goes straight. Going again, Sandy. Yes. Nevertheless, Road kicks it towards the half-forward line. And the mark is taken by Johnston. Well, the Alvin receives the handball. Puts it out towards... Meldrum, Baines is there, traps it nicely. Well done for a big man as he puts it back in towards the middle and Buckley. Jack I don't know, Glenn's so quick normally. He must have been reloading the gun. Rhodes kicked down towards the half forward line again. I tell you what, Carlton fans are certainly getting their money's worth here this afternoon at the moment. Rod Ashman now 30 metres out. The opportunity to post his side's fifth goal and to give them the break that really the wind is worth. Ashman's drop punt. He doesn't miss too many. He's kicked his second. And Carlton kick away to 5-2. Leading Geelong to 2-4 on sevens. Big lead. Fiery first term. There were no reports, amazingly. Buckley. Oh, threads his way out. Gives it to Shane Robertson. He's onto the left foot. He goals! Great goal, Shane. Robertson and Rowe, elated. Well, they may be too, because how good it is to go all into the breeze in the opening minute of the second term. At quarter time, Sandy, uh, not surprising when a player was carried off on a stretcher. We did see Wayne Harms stagger off the ground, and I would say it would be extremely unlikely yeah, for Wayne Harms to... Him as Flanagan, Reed almost held it, couldn't get it down to Ashman, but he flicks it out to Tommy Alvin. Get the handball, Tommy, no! Shepherding by Peter Rowe, sees him get the kick down towards Black... Forward, but McConville intercepted. Hand pass across to Ashman. Ashman puts a long kick down. McClure from behind in position and takes the mark. Great grab. Well, he's been informed, the big man. There's an opportunity now of uh, pushing the Blues further ahead. And Bobby, at the moment, I know it's only early, but they are starting to gain an ascendancy without some of their very good players, like your Johnstons and your Reese Jones. Yes, well, the, some of those younger players, Robertson and Rode, are doing a, a fine job for their side. Robertson in the centre against Williams. 
as McClure lines up. 15 metres out. Goals. Two goals to Mark McClure. McClure playing it full forward. Rhys Jones alongside him in the pocket. He's only had four kicks today, but road six. But they're certainly doing their bit. As Ashman gets them going again down. Very congested. Our forward zone, give a free kick. It goes to him. Oh, Tommy Alden got tripped as he was going up. But Montgomery is playing a fine game. Done some very good work. Goes over the centre. Ashman. Oh, it does well. Good play, Hartney. Picked up now by Blackwell. Blackwell puts the short kick out wide, and it's taken by Robertson. So, Shane Robertson. Doing a good job for Carlton. Playing in the centre against Greg Williams. And, uh, not necessarily a good piece of play. He got the lead there from Reese Jones, but was pulling up his sock and didn't see it. Kick from Robertson. Fair kick. Good kick. It goes down towards him now, and Jackson, who's beaten for this mark, and soundly beaten too on that last line of defence. Good mark taken by Brendan Hartley. It was a fine job against the players. Yeah. Big reputation, Curly Austin. A nice mark by Road, playing a great game. So too was Ashman, who puts the ball wide. Backs into trouble, but they're going to get out of it. It's taken by Buse. Away he scoots. Fraser will get him. Beautiful tackle. Road picks it up, gives it to Buckley. He's caught by. Game possession. Zeichler does for Geelong and puts it up towards the half forward line where Bruns and Hartney both racing after it. Hartney wins out. Dummies a hand pass, then gets it out towards Robertson. Can't keep it in play, though. It's bad luck for Shane Robertson. Good play by Brendan Hartney. And the throw in to take place on the half-forward line for Geelong. Six and three-quarter minutes have elapsed in this third term. Madden from behind, wins it with a punch. Ashman beaten by Morgan. Williams too slow. Now, that's a good tackle. And careful, Mr Madden, or she'll lose it. Quickly on to Shane Robertson, finding Brendan Hartley. Scratcher. Boss again. Mosser. And a kick finally smothered. Well, if they were records, they should have been on 45 RPM Geelong, but instead they... Over the top he goes again. Chance of a score now as Peter Rode puts the short pass into Meldrum, and he takes the mark. So... The score may possibly change now, Sandy, as Meldrum is only 20 metres out from goal. A fairly acute angle, but he does have the advantage of the breeze coming over his shoulder. So it's Paul Meldrum. One goal to his credit so far. One out of Carlton's 12. Meldrum goes goalward. Now he's kicked two out of Carlton's 13. It's 13-8 to 7-8. Six goals, the margin between the side. Well smothered. It comes out now, and we find Johnson putting the ball forward. And it's McClure to take the nice mark. It wasn't Johnson, it was Peter Rode who put that ball forward. The Rode, normally a right footer, decided to use the left foot and put it forward to Mark McClure. Has already kicked three goals. So Carlton looking good at the moment. 86 to 50 as Mark McClure goes for goal number four. And from the boot of Mark McClure, it's 14-8, 92, with Geelong on 7-8-50. One when he gets going, he really sets them alight. Uses the Curly Austin drop punt. McClure! Got the ride at the back and completed the mark. He has kicked four. And Carlton look to continue on their merry way. The drop punt for McClure is good. Goal number five to Marcus. Two in this term. They're going to career wise to Elvin from the centre of the ground. Elvin straight down the ground. No mark taken. And McClure picks it up, snaps towards goal. Number six for Mark McClure. Oh, they're on fire now. Six and goals to Mark McClure, and it's Carlton. Bolton. They want goals and they want them fast. Jacko's playing from behind, and a good mark, beautiful mark taken in defence by Hartney. Has time to have a bounce. 
Runs his full distance. It's off the side of the boot, though, and Rowe comes in to mark for Carl. Peter Rowe. He's got a couple of players down there. Blackwell. <laughs> Blackwell will have Ashman. It should go for the little short kick. On the defensive side of centre. To half forward he goes. The Cats really no avenue of attack down in their forward zone. Although full credit to this Carlton defence with Alvin, Austin, Reed, Montgomery all performing extremely well. Turns and turns and Montgomery picks it up. Gives it to Curly Austin who finds Blaskett in the back pocket. And away they go. Dummies the handball beautifully. Goes up towards centre wing. Meldrum is there. Coming over the top was Boss Frazier. Runs the wing, away he goes. Past Meldrum, he puts it in towards half forward. Buckley's there and he takes the mark, and that's the Carlton of old. Starting in the back pocket, Bob Skilton, didn't they look the goods? They did, Sandy, they looked excellent. And, uh, before the game, Sandy, uh, you have now just written Geelong off, but before the game, you tipped Geelong, Sandy. <laughs> I did, yeah. Well, I thought they stuck with them last week, Footscray, but... Thought that improved this week, not to be. Another goal on the board, another nail in the coffin for the Cats. And Jimmy Buckley has kicked his second goal. In fact, the majority of the, um, scribes. the scribes went for Geelong Carlton. That's uh, against Carlton, particularly one Sam Newman. Go long. He does. Deep into the square. Madden. Point blank range. He's done a pretty good job for Carlton today, Sandy. Well, I think as you mentioned earlier, Bobby, when he copped a uh, marvellous Marvin Hagler, he then went on with it. He has. Full marks to him for just that. There's Carlton fans trying to indicate to Madden just where to put the ball. That's exactly what he does. Spears the centre, brings up his first goal. Justin Madden won, Carlton 18-15, 1.23 to Geelong 10-9-69. A little short one from Bruns. And so, once again, a centre bounce. What are you grinning at? A little short one. <laughs> Ashman comes out with a ball. Puts it long over the head oh. of Zeitler. It's through for a goal. A wonderful goal from Rod Ashman. Ashman brings up his third goal. An excellent game of football on the little number 14 for Carlton. Carlton players will run for everywhere to congratulate him on that effort. And so I think they're back in business, the Blues. Goes back through half forward. Long up towards Jackson, who comes from behind. Can't complete the grab. Austin it is who taps it out wide. McConville goes in strongly. So too Hartney. He threw it out the back door. It lands with Tommy Alvin. And they'll get out of trouble to Road on the half-back flank. Road gives it on to Ashman. Ashman was looking to give it back to Road. He's having a field day. Now in towards the centre. And the mark taken by Wayne Johnston. John casually comes through. Puts it long. Montgomery in the front position takes a nice mark. Played an excellent game today, Sandy. Yes, he has. Twelve kicks, and here's the man of the moment, Ashman. He's all away. It's picked up by Glascott. Hand passes wide. Meldrum almost took it. So too Robinson. It comes back to Meldrum. Meldrum has a snap towards goal. That's a lovely goal from Meldrum. His third. Great piece of football by Meldrum, and three fine goals from that player. There's the board. 20 goals six to the opposition. Buse puts the kick forward. Hartney's in the way though. And that whole group of Carlton defenders have done a good job down there. Peter Rowe plays on immediately. An excellent game from the youngster out there playing his first. With a torpedo, Tommy Alvin has had the better of Ablett today. There's no question of that. A good solid bump by Ablett, however, on Blackwell puts him down. But McConville is there. And here's Ashman again. Now, this man has a problem because there's... Madden and Mossett, Madden leaning into Mossett, taken by Buse. Pops one out in front of Austin and Jackson, but Curley has been the supreme victor today. Ablett receives from Yates and goes with a booming punt. Reed and McConville fight this one out, and it's McConville who'll be paid the mark at centre field. Into the 21st minute here at Prince's Park.
Cool. Hand pass was smothered. It comes to Boss. Intercepted by Glascott. Ashman's there. Gives the hand pass across to Buckley. Buckley got the hand pass in with Alvin and followed down the ground. Alvin puts it wide and Meldrum takes a nice mark. Plays on into the open goals. Four goals to Meldrum. An excellent piece of teamwork by the road. Road swings it across towards half forward. Ashman couldn't take it, but Murphy intercepts, steps towards goal. Three goals to Fraser Murphy. Three good goals. 